I was curious yesterday, has anything changed with his delivery? And, and maybe it's so subtle that we wouldn't pick it up, but you're working with Sam Darnold. So has his delivery changed? Um, there's just, there's some subtle things that, uh, may, you're not going to see on a highlight from yesterday. Um, you know, with Sam, I'm not a believer that, that there's one way to throw it. I think there's a most efficient way for each person to throw it. And Sam has a couple things that are unique in terms of, um, uh, you know, people call it a loop or whatever, but his release, the ball coming down a little bit, uh, at the same time, uh, it's, he's actually quicker than pretty much everybody else. The ball comes out of his hand really, really quick. And uh, so what I tried to do is, is uh, change some of his posture, uh, which may sound really subtle, but uh, if you change the posture and, and uh, he was pretty hunched over, but he stands really tall now. And what it, you end up doing is recruiting your chest muscles. So when you go to throw, you're not just throwing an all arm. You get to recruit the whole front side of your body. And what that does is that one, you're going to get more, uh, more energy on the ball, but two, you're also going to take a lot of stress off of your, uh, your bicep tendon, your tricep tendon, those types of things. And, you know, I, I'm the younger brother of Carson, who's the last five years battled elbow issues and elbow tendonitis. And uh, so I get to look at it from a different vantage point. And even if these kids don't have an elbow or a shoulder injury from throwing, I really want to get with them early on and take that pressure and put it across as many muscles as we can and not just on their elbow um, or their shoulder. Uh, so, the, so it's more preventative maintenance down the road. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.